do you know how many circulation models we have? We have the thermal model, we have Ferrer's model, we have the wave model, and we have the computer models, general circulation models. Thermal model, Ferrell model, and wave model, these are more hypothetical conceptualizations. The computer modeling, this is more real time. We call these as synoptic models. The hypothetical models, these are more important to understand the process. And these are more important for forecasting and to study real-time circulations. These are the four models. Your syllabus talks about Ferrell's tricellular, but you have to know the other models also. Now, thermal model and Ferrell's model, ये दोनों मॉडल का प्रॉब्लम ये है दैट दे इग्नोर अपर ट्रोपोस्फेरिक सर्कुलेशन बोथ द मॉडल्स दे इग्नोर लोकल सर्कुलेशन बोथ द मॉडल्स दे इग्नोर मॉनसून बोथ द मॉडल इग्नोर द कंप्लेक्सिटीज ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर एंड वेरिएशन ऑफ द सर्फेस प्रॉपर्टीज land water contrast the effect of elevations the effect of ocean circulations they ignore the effect of air masses fronts they ignore local circulations local circulations jaise ki cyclones local winds and they also ignore fluctuations in circulations related to seasons and other variations related to solar energy receipt so our conclusion is these are simplistic these models are very general and good for simplistic appreciation of general climate they don't explain the actual process of inter latitude heat energy exchange so this these are always popular sabko pata hai air rises where air sinks where where which air starts interacting with what okay what happens to the climate there but this is a summary of the criticisms against the thermal model and the ferrell's model then we'll talk about the wave model now wave model isn't incorrect ye galat nahi hai it details upper tropospheric circulations jet streams ka role rossby waves ka role and jet streams and rossby waves say associated the quasi stationary highs and lows you have the meandering very sharp meandering this is a low pressure this is a high pressure high pressure low pressure high pressure a strong high a strong low a high and a low and eventually it breaks up okay so ye jo fluctuations hain the fluctuations in the intensity of the dynamic highs and lows these are called as quasi stationary highs and lows these are part of the dynamic origin and these are related to the index cycle okay this model effectively explains mid latitude weather conditions and temperate cyclones but wave model on its own cannot explain the other circulations like in particular the tropical circulations and the tropical climate and again important that uh, wave model wave model is effectively explanatory of inter latitude energy transfer this is a very important point so what we are saying is that if 
this is earth surface these are energy surplus latitudes these are energy deficit latitudes energy transfer does not happen effectively with the vertical cells okay so rising air descending air rising air descending air तो ये जो राइजिंग वर्टिकल सेल्स हैं, द वर्टिकल सर्कुलेशन वर्टिकल सेल्स द वर्टिकल सेल्स आर नॉट इफेक्टिव इन एनर्जी ट्रांसफर द मोर इफेक्टिव ट्रांसफर हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ द अपर ट्रोपोस्फेरिक विंड्स जो विंड्स यहां पर हैं, इन दिस केस दीज विंड्स गोइंग इन द बोर्ड the role of upper tropospheric winds and the quasi stationary highs and lows ye jo low pressure high pressure low pressure high pressure the quasi stationary highs and lows and the rossby waves these are more important in the energy transfer so when waves meander they catch energy take it towards high latitude so this is an important point in your evaluation of the wave model that's what we were discussing in the previous page the wave model effectively is effective explanation of the inter latitude energy transfer but wave model on its own cannot explain the other circulations particularly the tropical circulation so right model will be if you can combine the tricellular model along with the wave model and the local wind circulations when we combine all of them we get a better model of the type of circulation systems we have on earth so we are looking at a question what are the relative merits and demerits of circulation models for the atmosphere discuss so probably three four paragraphs with diagrams and end the answer because so agar aapko isko answer likhna hai introduction mein atmosphere is dynamic circulation is continuous there are many factors that make it complex to understand this there are various models of circulation circulation models this is the classical model hadley's unicellular ferrell's tricellular then we have the wave model and the gcm this is the real time synoptic model so various circulation models mein these are the three things the classic model hadley cell uni the unicellular model we have the tricellular model the wave model the computer circulation models which is the real time synoptic and do add some names kuch facts add karna hai year add karna hai wo kar lo aap log jerkins model ferrell's model go on there so ek diagram mein aapne bata diya then analysis of the thermal models okay so four five points जो आप चाहते हो लिख लो इसमें देन यू हैव एनालिसिस ऑफ द वेव मॉडल हैव सम पॉइंट्स दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एनालिसिस ऑफ जीसीएम मॉडल ज्यादा नहीं है इसमें एंड इस एनालिसिस के साथ में कम टुवर्ड्स द कंक्लूजन एंड इन द कंक्लूजन यू मेंशन दिस इज वन ऑप्शन यू हैव लाइक यू कैन से दैट सर्कुलेशन सिस्टम्स कंक्लूजन में सर्कुलेशन सिस्टम्स आर कॉम्प्लेक्स they are best understood in the systems perspective they are dynamic real time variations hote hain so complicated super computers required understanding of circulation models important for weather forecasting monsoons droughts climate change all understanding requires incorporating these techniques in understanding circulations 
because they are dynamic they are complex they require super computers super computers computing technology is required to understand the circulation systems let me show you the page number page 96 97 98 and 99 page 99 mein hai global computer models okay or uh, general computer models the book writes as global up global lik lo it says can you open your page please page 99 kholeya and see what is gcm there global computer models are basically tools for weather forecasting on the basis of simulation of real weather phenomena and involving laws of physics mathematical principles equation sense mein the set of computer generated maps of weather conditions of the real atmosphere and these maps are used to predict future weather conditions this technique is based on the basic tenet that the present weather of a specific place of a region at specific time depends on initial conditions so there must be lot of data in the gcm model hai they require lot of data crunching that's why we require super computers national super computing mission param shive and this idea of heat transfer page 96 mein second column ka second paragraph it has all those details of the heat transfer across and within the systems and this idea of heat transfer page 96 mein second column ka second paragraph it has all those details of the heat transfer across and within the systems pt ke liye look up page number 282 climatology by samendra singh revised theek hai okay then bye bye